Reaction tonight from the Cuban government to a tightening of U.S. policy by the Trump administration. Cuba's foreign minister says the new policies will not force the Cuban government to change. President Trump's policy constitutes a setback in bilateral relations. Cuba's foreign minister accused President Trump of returning to Cold War policies by scaling back on the Obama administration's opening to Cuba during his visit to Little Havana last Friday. The announced measures will not serve their intended purposes. Quite on the contrary, they will impose restrictions on citizens' freedoms, they will cost taxpayers more money, they will reduce the competitive opportunities of U.S. companies and business people. While Mr. Trump said he is canceling the deal made by the Obama administration, he only tweaked it, making it harder for Americans to travel to Cuba and banning travel to tourist destinations owned by the Cuban military. The two countries still have diplomatic relations and embassies. U.S. airlines continue to fly to Cuba, and cruise ships will keep sailing to the island. At the Marina Hemingway in Havana, American visitors, including some from Fort Lauderdale, don't see the logic in Trump's decision. There's very few places that you can't go as an American, and I think we should be able to go wherever we want to go and when we want to go, because we're the land of the free. These men visiting Havana belong to a group called Inspire Cuba, which helps young Cuban Americans connect with their counterparts on the island. We, our hope and our wish is that the, this administration in the U.S. knows that there are good people doing good work on either side, and there's a Cuban American community who's fired up and willing to take advantage of the changes. While President Obama sought business opportunities for Americans in Cuba, the Trump policies favor more pressure on the regime, hoping it will result in change. Now, the Cuban foreign minister also said Cuba will not return fugitives living on the island to the United States.